For this short narration, I'll be discussing the short story The Diamond Necklace and how it relates to the dramatic arc. The Diamond Necklace is a great example of how the dramatic arc unfolds because it has all five components. Right here is an image of the dramatic arc, more specifically Freytag's Pyramid. It has all five components, the exposition, the rising action, climax, falling action, and the denouement. Uh, the exposition is the beginning part of the story. It often includes the setting, which is the time and place, and the major characters. The rising action are events that occur throughout the story, and through each rising action, the tension continues to build, till we get to the top of the pyramid, which is the climax. Then it is the falling action. The falling action is a good way to think of it is it's the opposite of rising action. As the falling action events unfold, it becomes less dramatic. Finally, we get the denouement, which is kind of like to think of it as the resolution. It is the ending of the story, and it is how the final events will fold out. Next, let's look at the setting of the story. Uh, the setting of the, uh, of the diamond necklace takes place in Paris, France in the 1880s. The characters of the story is starting out with the protagonist as Madith Lezel. Her husband is Monsignor Lezel, and her rich friend is Madame Forestier. So, let's talk about a little about the protagonist. Uh, she and her husband are part of the um, middle or lower class, but the bottom line is that they're not very rich, and she is very upset by this. Uh, she, her dream is to be rich and to live a life of luxury, like her friend Madame Forestier. So, we're going to look at some rising actions. There's many examples of rising action. One example would be when Monsieur and Madeth uh, get invited to a formal party. Um, wh while before going to the party, Madeth then um, asks to borrow a fancy necklace from her friend Madame. Uh, the climax of the story would definitely be Madeth losing the necklace at the party. Uh, again, this is what the uh, rising action builds up to. An example of falling action would be, in order to pay for a replacement for this ne necklace, Madith and her husband have to borrow a lot of money. Another example of falling action in the story is when Madith works many different jobs to pay off her debt that she accumulated for replacing the valuable necklace. The resolution of the story is, ten years later, Madith finds out that the necklace she borrowed was not actually valuable after meeting her old friend. Uh, this causes this is a cause for a very ironic ending because she spent all these years paying back for a necklace that she thought was valuable and lost, only to find out that all those years were for a waste.